Hello everybody. Selamat petang tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian. Saya harap saudara-saudari berada dalam keadaan sihat sejahtera. Saya amat gembira dapat bersama anda dalam majlis berbuka puasa tahun ini. Situasi COVID-19 di Singapura semakin baik. Yangnya tidak akan beransur pulih tanpa usaha dan sikap bertanggungjawab rakyat Singapura, termasuk masyarakat Islam kita. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada masyarakat Islam kita atas segala pengorbanan dan kecekalan yang ditampilkan selama dua tahun ini. Terutama sekali kepada kepimpinan jawatan kuasa fatwa dan mufti Dr. Nazaruddin serta barisan asatiza yang telah memberikan bimbingan yang tepat dan sesuai untuk konteks Singapura. Kini, lebih ramai masyarakat Islam dapat kembali ke masjid-masjid. Kegiatan seperti solat Jumaat dan tarawih bersama dapat dijalankan hampir secara biasa. Bertahap-tahap, kita menyuburkan kembali semangat persaudaraan di antara kita. Saya harap kita dapat meneruskan amalan-amalan baik yang telah dipelajari sepanjang pandemik ini dan memperkukuhkan lagi nilai-nilai murni kita agar dapat lebih berdaya tahan. Inilah matlamat gerakan Salam SG yang akan saya kongsi lebih lanjut dalam bahasa Inggeris. Good evening, everybody. I'm very happy to join you in person for the Bukat Puasa this evening with our mosque leaders, with the volunteers, with the Ramadan service ambassadors, as well as leaders from the different faith communities. Also, a big hello to everyone joining us virtually. I can see many of you on the screen in front of me. First, let me thank the Muslim community for your sacrifices and understanding and for cooperating with the authorities as we work together to manage the pandemic. This year's Ramadan feels special because for the first time since the pandemic started, we are able to resume some normalcy. The last two years have been a very challenging and difficult time for everyone, but you understood the public health challenge and you adapted your practices to comply with the national guidelines and the safe management measures. And the mosques made a huge effort to keep the virus at bay and ensure that prayers could be conducted safely. You took the opportunity to hold religious programs and donations online so that the community could participate actively and safely during the pandemic. I'm happy the Salam SG movement will build on this to allow more Muslims to view, participate and benefit from mosque programs. It demonstrates clearly the community's resilience in the face of uncertainties and bodes well for the future. Secondly, I'd like to thank all faith leaders for your leadership and efforts to deepen the harmony and trust amongst the different communities in Singapore. The racial and religious harmony we have is hard-earned and very precious. So I'm very glad that you are rallying together to nurture this harmony and to contribute beyond your own faith communities, including by celebrating each other's faiths and festivals, just like how leaders of many faiths are joining together the Buka Puasa with our Muslim friends. I'm happy to see the faith leaders lead their communities by example to bring about positive change in our society, to strengthen mutual respect and understanding between different groups, and to reinforce common values across the different religions, for example, compassion and kindness. This builds a reservoir of trust and respect, which we will need to draw on, but also to continue to build on during times of crisis. I hope we'll continue these efforts to strengthen our multiracial and multireligious harmony as one cohesive and united people, so that Singapore can continue to thrive and succeed for many more years to come, and thank all of you today for joining us for today's Buka Puasa. I wish all our Muslim friends Selamat Berbuka Puasa and a blessed and meaningful Ramadan. Thank you very much.